morning guys, it is Sunday, February 12th, and it's 7.08 a.m. We have a 45 minute drive. I wanted to give you a quick tip for you new YouTubers out there. Don't be a rookie and forget to charge your camera. Don't be a rookie and not have an extra camera battery. Buy an extra camera battery and charge your camera. Unless you'll end up like me and having to, to not vlog because you have to charge your camera. So I'm gonna charge my camera and then I will see you guys when we get to our location. incredible time. When's the last time you did something for the first time? Today. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys one quick clip right here. Thing. Brian vlogged the whole thing because his camera is nice and small and mine's big but it was like this is the funnest thing I've done in like forever I feel so awake right now I feel like I just sky sky dose sky dove sky dove it <laughs> anyways it was fun you guys should do it if you it have was, the opportunity it was really fun inserting photos AF. and videos right here I was just getting back Having some oatmeal, select snickerdoodle, half of this, and a lot of that. Okay, just kidding, one tablespoon. And then you're having like double a what lot. I'm having. <laughs> yes. Two tablespoons for him, two servings for him. One serving, one scoop, and then, yeah. Butterflies on my insides have all gone away. This is the final product, your workout meal. All right guys, we are headed to the gym. We're going to District Barbell today. This is Max's gym. Um, he's not here today because it's Sunday and Max does not lift on Sundays, but we are lifting today. We both have deadlifts today, so we're gonna get inside. It's a nice rainy Sunday. cool in here. All right guys, so I told you before that I did not get enough sleep, or any sleep, sorry, uh, the other night, not last night, but the night before. Last night I got a decent amount of sleep, but I'm still like really, really, really tired. So, uh, what we're gonna do is just train as I heal. Um, I'm supposed to do a lot of volume today, but we're gonna just go as much as I can. Hang out with us today at Dirt. Hello! Yeah. Who that? Uh, I Who didn't that? know I was gonna be on film today. I did not do anything to my hair. So oh, I put, like, okay. I put like a Snapchat filter on this. I'm just gonna <laughs> film from your eyes down. <laughs> No, I don't want to sound conceited. Funny. Anyway. I literally, so I'm taking care of uh, my wife who has her wisdom teeth pulled out yesterday. And so, you know, sometimes it's, it's not about you. Just gotta let go. Hair looks fine. Hair looks so fine. fluffy. What's up, guys? So, as you guys saw beforehand, I said how tired that I was. And if you guys follow my Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat, you guys now know that it is uh, Thursday, or sorry, Friday by the time you guys are seeing this. And this was a Sunday clip. Number one, apologies for being so late and backed up on footage. I'll try not to do that as much as I possibly can. Um, but if as you guys have been following me or if you do follow me on the other social medias you'll know that i did contract the flu this week yay so i still am sick um this Sunday and this workout was before I actually felt flu and cold symptoms. I was still just feeling really tired. Um, and then at the end of the video, I do talk about pushing through and um, going to the gym when you feel tired and you don't feel like going. But that was before I knew that I had uh, an illness. There's, a, there's like a little fine line between needing to rest because your body is tired and then just resting because you're making an excuse for yourself. So, so apologies if you guys are thinking that I'm saying to push through a workout when you're sick because that's not what I'm advising you to do. 
But either way, I did want to walk you guys through this workout. So as you guys see here, I started off with deadlifts. So my coach did give me a new program and I had some heavier deadlifts today. Heavy-ish. Um, I was doing week 195 for three or four, four sets of four, three sets of four or something like that. Um, and surprisingly, they felt really good. I felt like my form was really good, um, which I was very happy with. You guys can see that after I did my set, Brian was doing deadlifts as well. He actually hit a PR. I don't think I recorded it on my YouTube channel, but uh, he did hit a PR, so go check his channel out. Um, but here, I just wanted to make sure that my back was not rounding. I took my time with my form set up, so I usually try to get set up before I even try to lift the bar off the ground. I try to pull my hips back, and I make sure that my hands are in the right position. Um, I make sure that my uh, back and my shoulders are really contracted, and I try to squeeze my back and my lats and my shoulders and pack them as much as possible while keeping my chest upright and keeping the bar pushing the bar or sorry pulling the bar as close to my body as possible so it's really just about keeping your upper body and your back and your shoulders packed and tight while embracing your core and also making sure your hips don't pop up before the rest of your body and they don't sink too far down i know it's a difficult thing a lot of you guys are have been asking about like a deadlift tutorial video and i will try my best to do that in a future video where i just sit there and teach you guys like cues for deadlifting um, so let me know uh, with a thumbs up if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. I will do that for you guys if you guys, if enough of you guys are interested in it. So after that, all right, guys, I'm gonna teach you about the hamstring curl for a little bit. So you're not gonna start the movement here. You're gonna start the movement here. I drop the weight down a little bit. That is how you get a good glute hamstring burn. So similar to the hamstring curl, this is the glute ham raise, and I absolutely love this little uh, machine set up for hamstring and glute engagement. Um, so they have a band wrapped around, so it's just like an added challenge. You don't necessarily need that. You can also use like a 10-pound plate or something if you have that, if you don't have anywhere to wrap their band around underneath. But um, same thing with the hamstring curl with this. You want to go ahead and engage your glutes and hamstrings before you even start. And the range of motion is not that deep, guys. So you're not going to like bend your back and bend your body all the way over and then come back up because you're not going to use your lower back at all. You're just going to keep your glutes and your hamstrings completely engaged the whole entire time. You're going to point your toes slightly out, try to keep your feet flat on the back surface, and then just squeeze at the top. And then I ended my workout with some glute isolation exercises. So I'll usually choose between a few different things, but today I chose to do a glute kickback and a few other exercises I'll show you, I'll show you after. Really with this, you're just gonna slowly and controlled Contract, blah blah blah. I can't talk. I'm still sick, guys. So I see a lot of people doing glute kickbacks, and they're not stabilizing their core. They're not stabilizing their back. Um, but I like to do it. Not I like to do it. It just makes the most sense where you're just really isolating the glute as opposed to using the rest of your body to do the movement. So just really focus on squeezing the glutes at the top. And then from there, I also did um, a single leg glute bridge, which is one of my favorite exercises to isolate the glutes as well. Slow and controlled from the bottom to the top. You're going to squeeze your glutes at the top. So the last exercise is going to be a banded uh, abduction. So this is essentially replacing the abductor machine at the gym. You guys know I love to do this, um, but if you don't have one of those machines at the gym, you can just wrap a band right around your legs like so, and then just abduct and squeeze it on the sides and try to keep your feet flat on the floor. Strong. Peter's trying to clean up his gym. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow the District Barbell YouTube channel. I wanted Chick-fil-A so bad, but what day is it? It's Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Ah. All right, well. Next. I really wanted Chick-fil-A, but it's Sunday. I understand the reasoning behind it, but it's just sad. Yeah, it's just I want my chicken. So I told you before my workout that I was still feeling really tired from not sleeping the night before. I slept last night a little bit, but... When I got to the gym, I literally thought that I wasn't gonna be able to do anything. Um, but if I like believed that in my head, 
then I wasn't gonna be able to do anything. But in my head, I was like, you know what? I'll do what I can, see how it feels, and then just train based off of how I feel. Um, but I, in my head, knew that I could do it because I have pushed through hard workouts before. I've pushed through hard preps before. I've pushed through a lot of other difficult things before. So I knew that I could just push through and get it done. Um, and there are times to take rest days, don't get me wrong here, but at the end of the day, the body achieves what the mind believes. So that just means that whatever you think you're going to do, whatever you think is going to happen to you, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Someone tweeted me the other day, um, could you achieve a really difficult goal if you don't believe you can? And I, I was like, nope, <laughs> you can't, because you don't think you can. Brian's backing up in parallel parking. Good job, mate. Good job, babe, it was good. One time. One shot. But yeah, today we had a great day. We flew in the air, we thought we could do that, and we did, <laughs> and then got through a really hard workout. And now we're gonna go eat. What are we eating? We are eating district taco, carbs, chicken, cheese, oh all God. that. Because I have a camera that I don't have a flip up screen, my apologies, I didn't realize how zoomed in my camera was, but I'm just gonna leave the clip because I don't wanna redo it. It looks fine, all you need is a hero's the message. There he is. <laughs> ah. The name is the food truck. They're bonding. Uh, the Griffin's one of our go-to spots. I love Griffin. Yeah. And if you fly American Airlines. All right, so I got a chicken bowl, lettuce, onion, pico, rice, green beans. Sorry, green beans, black beans, not green beans. Um, and some guac. I think that's it. Brian got the same thing, but double chicken. Chase got some tacos. 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 What's up guys? It is the end of the night. I'm editing the video and realized I forgot to film an outro clip for you guys. So I did want to say a quick thank you to all of those who are subscribed to my email list. I recently, this past week, I asked all of you guys who are subscribed to the email list what you want me to provide you guys in terms of like email list content, podcast topics, YouTube video topics, anything that you guys are struggling with. I asked basically like, what can I help you with pretty much? Um, and I got like hundreds of emails, guys. It was really great. I haven't read through every single one of them yet. Um, I've been trying to like do it as I go along, but I am really sick, so I've been like sleeping a lot of the time. It's been great to hear the feedback and I heard a lot of incredible stories and a lot of like, it, it just really helped ignite my fire. I know I say that all the time, but it really did just like rekindle the fire in me and like show me like, okay, this is what I can provide to people and help them with. I heard stories about like, what people are struggling with their weight, what people are struggling with their personal life, what people are struggling with with training, stuff like that. And like, I have like a list now of topics that um, I'm gonna make sure that I cover. What I wanna do is provide a month of free one-on-one -on -one coaching. And all you guys have to do is subscribe to my email list. So if you're already subscribed, you're already in the running. But if you're watching this video, I want you to go ahead and comment below as to why you think it would be beneficial to you just so I can like read and make sure someone who gets chosen um, is someone that deserves it and actually wants it. I'm really excited about it. I'll be telling you guys who the winner is via email. So again, make sure you guys, if you're interested, just go subscribe to the email list. There's lots of fun stuff on there. So even if you don't win, you'll be getting a plethora of content. Anyways, just lots of free information, just lots of helpful stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one.